Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly, fortnightly reading for June the 1st through to the 15th and when I was meditating I was just getting, it's interesting because last time I got this image of this beautiful like woman with this long hair that was at the mast of a boat so it was going off on a beautiful journey you could see feel the uh, wind in your hair it's a very windy day today it was like quite literally going on this beautiful journey whereas this time I got the same woman but it was it was not on a boat it was and this is all symbolic so it doesn't have to be um, literal but it's quite literally uh, she was just happy like she'd landed somewhere and she was just kind of letting her hair flow and she was feeling pretty happy where she was like really happy where she was and just kind of basking in an energy it was almost like she was you know if you arrived on an island and you're on holiday and you're just like I'm just sitting in the sun and enjoying myself and that it was this sense of ease and even luxury coming in or beauty. It just, yeah, it was just basking in the energy and really enjoying where where she was at. So I kind of feel like it's a sense last time you're off on your journey and this time you've landed and it's feeling very present with where it is that you've landed and happy with where it is that you've landed. So let's see, we've got a few cards will come out for you. The Queen of Acorns, passion and creativity. We like it. So maybe you're connecting into like these new passions and very creative pursuits, which is really lovely. The King of Shells, harmony, integrity, and the King of Crystals, courage and commitment. Wow. Okay. <laughs> there is a lot coming out here. Wow. Okay. My goodness, there's a lot of people that I think that you've met recently that potentially could be very advantageous, absolutely, both emotionally, like where you're journeying on your emotional levels, but also just like in terms of like career and finance. So, or just, you know, people that feel like they're, they're inspiring you or making things possible. But yeah, I feel like there's a lot of people you've met that are advantageous for whatever reason. So, yeah, interesting energy to come through for you, Libra. So I just need to let you know, Libra, that this reading is for Libra Sun, Moon and Rising. Oh, always recommend to watch all three of your placements if you know where they are because it creates a kind of a more holistic or fuller picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Libra. Just take what feels right and leave the rest. And if it does really resonate, there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below. Now, I know the High Priestess has come out, but I've got to go and get that other card that dropped on the floor. We've got Sword 9, Venus, Gemini. Okay, interesting, because I think what's happening here is you're getting this very, very strong intuitive message, um, maybe about one of these people that have come in. There's three different people here. Uh, and so they feel like they've had a significant impact on your life for whatever reason, some sort of influence. And you're getting this message here around stepping into something, having the courage to step into something or a connection with these people or to step into something that they've inspired you to move towards. But it might also be really stressing you with that nine of swords. Uh, with the Venus Gemini, Venus is your ruler here. And it's this sense of, uh, yeah, I, I know what it is that I want to do. <laughs> I just know it's going to kind of, I know what it's going to take to do it. So yeah, interesting energy to come through. Let's see what else is coming in for you, Libra. But yeah, I do feel like for some of you, one of these connections that's coming in, it has got a romantic edge to it. It's got a lot of career to it as well or work, but and some to do with hobbies. It's, it's, it's kind of not just one area of your life. This could be affecting. I feel like it's multifaceted, like multiple areas of your life. But it's kind of stirred something bigger in you where you're like, okay, I've like quite literally landed at something and um, I'm getting really letting it ground down into a reality, uh, getting used to the idea. I'm letting, I'm sitting with it. <laughs> so it's kind of like, a, like that vision I had, you're happy where you've landed uh, but it's almost a sense of, you know, you can't stay in that place for too long. You know what's going to be required of you. So 
Yeah, interesting. Let's see. I feel like it's this sense of stepping into something kind of big, challenging but rewarding all at the same time, the strength card, okay? So this comes in when you are about to do that, quite literally. The strength card always comes in. It does require you gathering your strength, your courage. You're about to do something that needs, that you need that. So, yeah, wow. It, it feels, this feels big for you here, Libra. Uh, so exciting. The Sword Nine could be nervous excitement. It could be that you can't stop thinking about this or you can't stop thinking about somebody as well could be a few sleepless nights it could be a little bit of stress and worrying anxiety usually there could be a, a few little fears thrown in there as well but I feel with all the rest of the energy it's mostly uh, really positive like it's, it's this positive forward momentum the eight of pentacles you know no guarantees this is going to work absolutely but it, it feels like look at that ace of cups again that's that sense of we were saying that you're feeling really beautiful or you're feeling like something beautiful is birthing in your life. The King of Wands, okay, so this is the catalyst. You've met somebody in the recent past that has just kind of got you inspired here or got you thinking at least. The Four of Pentacles, a little bit of resistance coming in in the near future. Just, uh, yeah, I feel like wanting to go back to your old comfort zones even though you know you're about to step into something big. The Seven of Cups, and it, there's actually, actually no rush with this is what they're saying, is take some time out, um, work out your options. Uh, the Eight of Cups, interesting, a lot of emotional story coming out here now. The Two of Pentacles, you're going to be quite ambivalent about this, but here you are, you've turned up the Queen of Swords. You've come back to yourself and said yes. <laughs> okay, and here we have the King of Cups. So for some of you, this quite literally is maybe... It's the sort of energy like somebody's proposed to you and you're, you've got those like should I, shouldn't I kind of energy and then eventually you say yes. Um, but, yeah, the King of Cups, I do feel like, yeah, there's a lot of people around you, uh, in particular uh, a particular relationship here that, uh, yeah, the, there's an opportunity or a relationship. The King of Cups is coming twice because this King of Shells is also the King of Cups. It's a Scorpio energy. Um, so I do feel like this is a person around you at this moment, usually somebody that has got some very strong feelings, <laughs> strong feelings about things or very strong feelings about you and potentially both. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this person, there could definitely be... Uh, there's something new birthing with this energy that's coming in. Um, harmony and integrity are the words that came in with this. It's a very Scorpio energy. It may be around a Scorpio that you're dealing with or another water sign. It could be Pisces or Cancer. It doesn't have to necessarily be so, but there's an intensity to this person, a power to this person. So these are sort of the qualities that I feel like there's something magnetic about them that or about this or about this opportunity that's drawing you that you can't look away you can't uh ignore so it's kind of interesting uh and this this could actually be something that you're intensely connecting to or somebody that you're connect intensely connecting to so for some of you there's there's love here for some of you it's connecting into a path of love going down and doing something that you know that you're going to truly love doing um, there's healing involved with this joy passion it's it's a lovely journey to go down but for whatever reason it it is um, challenging as well so that's why we've got the strength card cost crossed by the eight of pentacles is the strength card is around um yeah all those things we talked about it can be putting like interestingly like ego aside and ego can sometimes be yes people always think of it as like aren't i fabulous aren't i great like the having a big ego sort of thing but it's also can be ego can be those negative things that tell you you're not good enough and so it's quietly you know here we have the maiden quietly and very bravely shutting the jaws of a lion and so it's 
parts of yourself that you may not think is strong is actually strong enough to take this on at this moment in time. And so, yeah, there's a lot of fear with the Eight of Pentacles. It's about work, you know, it's going to require work. It's going to require hard work. Um, these are the energies that's crossing you or maybe you think it's not going to work, but maybe you don't want to put in the work that you know it's going to require. But um, there's a part of you that knows you're going to have to do this. So in your conscious mind, you've got this, this Knight of Pentacles, which is you know this is something that is coming in that could be, you know, it's slow and steady, wins the race. It's something very dependable. It's something that may require some patience, but it's something or someone that you can really trust that could be bring, coming, bringing something in for the long haul, the long term, uh, someone, you know, or something that can make your future feel a lot better, more stable, very a lot of stability that's coming through with this. So... The Knight of Pentacles is a nice energy. It's sort of uh, take it slow. It, it may be that you need to slow something down or that things are going too slow for you, but it is very much an energy of um, slow, a slow and steady wins the race. So at the base, we've got the Ace of Cups. So this is what's happening kind of at the pace of the issue. And this is you know, the Ace of Cups, you're crowned by the King of Cups, you've got the Ace of Cups, it's the, something beautiful is birthing in your life at the moment. This is quite literally could be new feelings coming up around somebody, new feelings coming up around opportunities. This is love, the birth of love. This is the birth of healing. This is the birth of joy. This could be a lot of emotions that are coming up as well. You know, there, there could be a lot of emotions bubbling up to the surface to um, be processing with all of this. But mostly I feel like if it is it's coming up to be cleared, but there's this sense of um, excitement and it does feel very much connected to somebody or, like I said, a very strong motivational, um, psychological motivation that's coming in here. So in the recent past, you've got the King of Wands and you've also got the King of Crystals, which is like the King of Pentacles. So this is kind of like there's been something that's kind of got you thinking about money, career, passions, um, what you need in those kind of areas and departments. You've met people that have sparked this in you uh, where you may be thinking you're getting a little bit more ambitious or you're really working out what it is that you want in a relationship. It can also be to do with your, your career and work. This is basically money and creativity and passion. So this is, uh, yeah, really, really important. This could be, could have been um, just seeing it's they're, they're the cards of success and having the courage to kind of step into that, but very successful people around you. So that's where it's kind of been a motivational energy, uh, whether you've kind of seen somebody else's successful relationship or you've seen somebody do something really successful in their career. Uh, it does feel like it. it's like, like I said, it's inspired you or motivated you. Now, interestingly, in the near future, you've got the Four of Pentacles. So this is where this energy feels like it suddenly feels quite intense. <laughs> it feels like there's just a lot happening, everything shifting and changing all at once. And it's kind of like you want it to slow down. So this Four of Pentacles is kind of like where you say, I just want to hold on to something. I really want to hold on to something or someone uh, I don't necessarily want to move on from it or let it go just yet. Or it's like you quite literally want to keep something in your life that is really valuable or someone in your life that's really valuable. It's like you've got these new feelings, these new passions, and then like I, I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose this thing in my life. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. The Four of Pentacles can also be represent saving money. So maybe you're saving money for wherever, wherever it is that you want to be heading as well. So you're presenting as the Seven of Cups. This is very much where you're looking at a whole heap of different options. The picture is kind of becoming clearer and clearer. There's still a few things that don't necessarily make sense or you can't see just yet or you're not sure if it's a good opportunity. But it's like... It's opened you up to looking further afield and looking at new options. So I do feel like there's an a, there's a sense of evaluating where you're at and where you're about to go. <laughs> so and how that's going to happen. It's kind of interesting because in the energy surrounding you, you've got the three of swords. So 
There is, uh, for some of you, you've just broken up with somebody, but something, you know, this is an X kind of energy for some of you. Um, this with the King of Wands. It's um, not that it's a gender specific X. It's just that there's somebody that, uh, yeah, broke your heart or you had, doesn't have to necessarily be romantic. This can be an ex boss or ex creative partner or ex friend. But it's a sense that this person kind of hurt you or that there's some wounds around the relationship with this person. For some of you, these are wounds around stepping into your creative leadership, stepping in and having the courage and conviction of doing what it is that you want and committing to it. So there potentially have been wounds around that as well. So either way, there's a wound that comes up that um, is just... It's, it's the thing that's kind of causing you to go uh, uh, put the brakes on a little bit. Like I, I'm happy with this comfort zone. I'm not ready to step into all of this because it feels quite full, this energy that you're being presented with here. feels like a lot. Like it, it's, a, it's a big energy to be stepping into, big commitments. Uh, you know, it, it's just a lot. But this is where you're kind of like going, oh, well, maybe things didn't work out in the past or... Uh, you know, still getting over something, a past hurt. And it's like, and maybe there's a part of you that's not quite ready to step into this just yet, even though it's kind of the universe has said it's here, it's ready, it's time. And you're like, ah, was I ready? So that's why you've got the sword nine, which is like, uh, maybe I'm, I'm not ready. Maybe I'm feeling a bit stressed about this, but the high priestess is showing you that something's being revealed at the right time and that you to trust your intuition. So your intuition is saying one thing, your head's possibly saying the other thing and your head's possibly saying, no, you can't do this. You've been hurt before. This is stressful. It's too big, blah, blah, blah. All the reasons why you haven't done it in the past. Um, I haven't gotten over this person or I, I, you know, it doesn't work for me, but your intuition's got a big yes. Your head is and logical mind saying no, 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 no. So this is where there's a bit of an interesting conflict, but the uh, hopes and fears you've got the eight of cups is that yeah, it's sort of strange because it's like you want to walk away and detach from those unfulfilling energies. You want to f search for fulfillment, but at the same time, it's like you want to hold on to that that place where you didn't necessarily feel fulfilled because it's safe. It's a safe, it's a comfort zone. So you're shifting your comfort zone here. Um, so this is, but this is what I like the outcome because you've got the two of pentacles, which is like, Oh, it's this last minute, like I'll weigh things up, uh, last minute ambivalence, last minute weighing up the options and going, you know, uh, well, which one's better? Is it better to kind of go out and uh, really connect with this new energy that is it feels like this expansive, joyful energy that I could be connecting to? Or should I stay in this old energy that's a comfort zone that's unfulfilling for me? And so you're kind of weighing up these options here. But then here you are, the Queen of Swords. This is the card of Libra just going, you know what? Let's just do it. This is where you say yes. You say yes, yes, yes. This is where your head is clear and you say your head is saying yes. So your intuition and your head are on the same page, which is actually really good. And so it's like you say yes to the opportunity. It's a bit of a journey to get to it, which is really fantastic. And so, yes, I do feel like um, this King of Cups energy around you, it, it could be quite an emotionally intense time or psychologically intense time. You could be having a lot of very intense discussions or very intense connections. Emotionally, you could be feeling this on a lot of different levels. It may be that you need to find some sort of emotionally safe place, but at the same time, you're wanting to have the courage to to listen to, to your heart and your intuition about where it's guiding you and to not let those thoughts that might be kind of inhibiting you or um, blocking you from getting in the way of what's on offer here. And there's a lot of people around, like I said, this King of Cups energy, it's come in twice. So th that kind of represents intensity. Uh, for some of you, this is like managing, managing emotion or managing money, managing other people. It's kind of stepping up into that kind of energy as well. 
I just feel like there's something big that's calling you here. So whether it's like a, it feels like it's either a career or work kind of opportunity, like maybe stepping out of your comfort zone in terms of the way you're expressing yourself, you're leveling up here. Um, definitely there's an expansion that's on offer here. And also if it's to do with a particular relationship, it's opening up to love again, where your heart ha has felt like it's not quite ready or hasn't quite healed. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, and it could be all of the above because there's a big energy. There's lots of people coming in here. I feel like you're more queen of acorns, passion and creativity, but there could just be someone around you that's kind of very highly creative and passionate and and inspiring. So there's just so many, there's so much going on here, Libra, for you to, it's like a smorgasbord of um, advantageous energies around you at this moment in time and opportunities that are challenging you, but presenting with these amazing expansions. This one says, I claim, this is your affirmation card. I claim my own power and I lovingly create my own reality. I love this. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. And that's kind of what I get with it is that you don't have to feel pressure. You know, it's like you want to make the most of this opportunity here. So, but at the same time, do it in your own time. Um, this is kind of, you know, the thing here. So you lovingly create your own reality and it's all, um, you know, feeling kind of in control here, which feels good. This one says there is no blame. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge and awareness we have. And that would be related to this three of swords energy of if something didn't work out in the past, it's so easy to go down the path of blaming somebody else. But this energy kind of wants you to step up into an empowered energy, um, connect to your courage connect to something that the universe is asking you to commit to on a bigger level. So it's asking you to kind of get out of that disempowered energy and to not bother with, don't bother blaming somebody else because just look at the good thing that's in front of you at this moment. So I'm going to pull you a charm. I've just got to reach for it. With my squeaky old chair. So let's finish this off with a charm for you, Libra. Oh, wow. We've got the leaf. So it's like turning over a new leaf, quite literally. Um, it's actually very intricate and beautiful, this leaf. And we can see the veins running through it. It's just something that's so delicate, but so beautifully made. And it's something that um, is very natural. Uh, it's nature. And yeah, I just get, I mean, yeah, you could get the go down the whole path of natural transitions and things like that that are happening here. But what I'm getting, <laughs> strangely, uh, Libra is more of a Lord of the Rings ish kind of thing. Like this is made by the elves. It's like some sort of elven magic. You know, they make this beautiful silver that's got these magical properties to it. And it feels like something of great value and great worth with there's great skill involved with it. And yeah, there's like a bit of magic around it as well. So it, it potentially for some of you, this is related to your creativity. Like I'm kind of getting things like jewelry or heirlooms or, um, you know, just there's something really special that's, that's been created here that it's, there's got this uniqueness that, um, is magical. So yeah, it sort of feels like there's something around that, that it just feels like it's something incredibly special. So of high value. So, and master craftsman kind of energy. So, yeah, and I mean, you could apply that to anything. You can apply that to love. You can apply that to whatever it is that you're wanting to bring in. Um, maybe it is upgrading your skills and and you stepping in where you're kind of leveling up. But there's just so many ways you can apply that. But, um, yeah, that's kind of what I was getting. <laughs> Mithril, I think it is, the elvish silver. Anyway, uh, so that's it. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now where I'm going to look at what's coming in in the near future. You kind of, a bit of hesitancy, you get there eventually, you say there's a yes, 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 yes. Let's see where this is going. Let's see what... 
kind of energies are coming in after this, what's being supported by the universe, what obstacles are coming through that you need to get over, what things, wonderful things are coming towards you, you know, where's this all going in the near future and the future beyond? And we're going to ask for any ways of managing and maneuvering around this this energy, also any intuitive messages that you need to hear or clarification that you need to hear. So we're just going to explore this deeper and go further into the future with it. So that's going to be all in the extended reading. The link for that will be in the description box below. And I usually pin the link to the comments as well. And if this is where we're leaving each other, Libra, please like, subscribe, share and leave a comment and take care.